surface where a plane intersects another edge, which is perfect for re recreating an area like this. So if I click on that edge, you can see how it's created a point. And then I can click there, 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 there. So it makes it very easy to rebuild pieces of geometry based on a lot quicker. So it's going to add to the speed of movement of that leg and make the whole movement more dynamic. So you can carry on adding as many breakdowns and in-betweens as you think you need to get the motion right. So if I just move the animation on a little bit, like I mentioned before, we've got this problem here where he actually throws the shield. We will have a look at the newly added lattice deformer as it was one of the most requested rigging features that arrived in Modo with the version 801. Aside of the lattice deformer, we also have a look at the new excellent falloff probe that allows you to automate many rigging tasks inside of Modo and making Modo more procedural than ever. This way you can create different simulations that can be reused either through different scenes or just experiment with different settings very easily. The dynamic, active rigid body replicators and the static rigid body or kinematic rigid body replicators can interact with each other. So in this scene, I have two replicators. The load a UDIM option, direct the explorer to a directory where you have where your images are saved and hit OK. Once imported, Modo will create a structure or an item, um, image folder item, that allows you to organize your images inside of the clip list. And if you look inside of that image folder item, you can see that there's the selection of AC and MC, Radiance Caching and Monte Carlo. We still get some of the artifacts that you sort of see from Radiance Caching, even though they're significantly lessened. And this helps clean up um, issues that you find in corners. So let's go ahead and run a render of that because um, definitely a very helpful feature. So I'll switch back to the previous render, kind of see a little bit more splotchiness in that corner there. And I'll increase uh, all of which are useful. I use size quite a bit to resize groups or the entire hair uh, or a set of hair that I have. And I'll undo that. You can also use curls. This is just incredibly fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag in the viewport. You can see the curls are curling off the tip of the hair. And if I change my falloff amount down to say 45, that's going to let the curls come all the way down. 